Hey y'all! How's everybody doing? Well, I've got so many things to do. So many hauls. It's I've got to put up my spring contest. It's going to be good, 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 good. Oh my gosh. The good thing that it's been taking so long, y'all, is why I've been waiting. I've been gathering stuff. So, anyway, today, as y'all saw from the title, I am doing and updated Boom Cosmetics. And the reason I'm doing this is because I went through all my, um, I was going, not all. It's sad how much makeup I have. It's truly sad. Um, cause it's, it's not healthy to have this much makeup. But anyway, um, hold on. <laughs> I lost my glasses. All right, so lots of things. Um, that was my phone that decided to fall over on its little stand. I have a little stand over here. Isn't it the cutest? But it's um, kind of lightweight, and my phone, when I have my Mophie on, is kind of heavy. So it just fell over backwards. Mm. But it, it holds it. It's just I've tipped it funny. But anyway, so... Wait a minute, y'all. This is now turned to Chinese writing. What? Where's English? Cancel. Y'all, it was just a change to Chinese. Oh my gosh. All right. Just get this done. There. Sit. <laughs> Stay. <laughs> okay. All right. So, Boom Cosmetics. <laughs> Why did I want to do a redo on this? Because when I was going through my makeup, as I started out so long ago telling you about, um, the last time that I looked at it, I looked at it as if you, this was all you were going to wear and it's an all natural and you can't have any other kind of look with it. And I thought, you know, there's a lot you can do with this as a starter. So I wanted to start out by saying the way that Cindy, who is gorgeous, she's a model. She actually was her most successful modeling career, I think was when she was discovered by Ford, you have to go look at her uh, website, and I'll link that below, But um, and um, look at her story. But she's a gorgeous woman to start with, so I was like, okay, so this doesn't apply to me because I don't look like that when I put this on, but that's okay. You don't have to look like her when you put this stuff on. So what it is, is, and it comes, it's very simple packaging. It's, it's pretty, I think, good price for the packaging and the product. Um... It's, a, please ignore my nails. I'm fixing to have to have them done. But anyway. Um, she basically has a moisturizer product, a color product, and a highlighting product. And there's a reason for highlighting product. Because I thought of all the things you don't necessarily need, you don't need highlighter. But she uses that as her glow. As her glitter. As her sparkle. Now, I don't want to say that because that's part of the name. So, so I don't want to confuse you. So let's just start off with glow. Glow is a boomstick, um, and this is the, I want to make sure y'all can see the logo, Boomstick Cosmetics by Cindy Joseph, and again, you can look her up from the link below and see all about her. I think she's amazing, uh, makeup artist, model, and now she is an entrepreneur, and Glow is a wax, basically, not a wax, I'm sorry, it's an organic, I'll tell you what's in it, organic extra virgin olive oil beeswax, I was right, with pollen and propolis, German chamomile, essential oil, raw pisco, keo, wildflower, flower, honey, um, and the, or, the olive oil is organic. I think I said that. Why does it say that? Because it says organic is an ingredient, and then at the bottom it says made with organic olive oil. Certified organic by the International Certification Services, made in the United States, and it is eight grams of product. So, it looks like wax because it is beeswax in there, but that's what's so healthy about it. So, um, now, people who are allergic to bees, I don't know if this affects them or not. You need to ask your doctor, not me, not Cindy. Ask your doctor. Matter of fact, take it with you to the doctor if you have serious concerns about allergies. You never go by who sells the product to ask them if this will, is healthy for you. I work for Chip Flame. When people call and say, well, it, um... You know, I know that you um, use refined peanut oil to fry your products, and um, which is much healthier, but, you know, I have a pe peanut allergy. Can I 
use it anyway. Well, it is refined, but I'm not going to say yes. It's up to your doctor to tell you the answer to that question. So anyway, I would say that's always true. Um, by the way, I'm not a spokesperson for um, Boom Cosmetics or Cindy Joseph in any way. I just, when I was going through my makeup and I found this, because um, y'all know I have like hundreds and hundreds of makeups, and so I found this as one of them, and you know I'm going back through makeup that I have bought rather than buying more, even though I continue to buy more. But anyway, um, so I decided to give this a, a redo, and um, I started with it this morning. I thought, you know, I'm going to do this on film so that I can talk about it again. So I go over places where I have wrinkles. Um, I, I go over here as well, the eye, because I need moisture there. I need moisture underneath and beside it for crow's feet. Do a little bit here. Always go down the nose, even though it doesn't really need moisture. I just feel like e whether you need moisture or not, you put moisture on. Just like people who have al um, acne, they think that they've got to just get completely dry skin because they're oily. No, if you do that, you're going to cause your body to produce more oils. So that's not the answer to that. But I'll let your dermatologist answer all that for you. I'm just telling you about this. So, I'm just using my middle finger and my ring finger. And I'm just kind of massaging it in. Um, the reason I'm massaging it is because I'm using it as a moisturizer, okay? For under my eyes. Because it is, uh, and you think, well, gosh, she's just tugging. I'm not. It's so smooth, it can just glide right on. It just feels like a little massage. It's wonderful. And I'm putting it down here in these pores. Um organic. I'm going to be washing my face. It's okay to really mash the soil down on your skin. And I'm putting it back here on the back of my face. And I feel like I'm getting a little face massage here. Right on the moustache. Right here in what we call the uh, the bulldog cheek. <laughs> or whatever this is. Again, this is hereditary. Whether or not you have this. And it, no amount of creams or whatever is going to get rid of this. That is a structural thing when this drops usually from aging if it's not just genetics and the only way to fix it is that I know of is surgery and if you want to do that that's your business all right so I'm purposely staying away from my lips because the lip product also has this in it and so I don't need to do duo but you could all right so I'm just rubbing this into my skin into my eyes so what this is doing is just really really moisturizing my skin and don't forget your neck and your decollete because I have necklaces on right now and I've already got my shirt on. I'm not going to keep going down. But then also, instead of wiping it off on a towel, wipe it off in your hands, on the back of your hands. Because this can be used for cuticles. You can um, soften your cuticles with this. If nothing else, you could keep this in your purse as a hand and cuticle product. Because literally, she takes it and goes to each one of them. But you can literally just rub across it. And I think it goes further that way. And just go over each cuticle. And just rub it in. Sometimes, you know, you're just sitting at the doctor's office or you're sitting somewhere and you're just waiting and waiting. Most people look at their phone, but you can also just pamper yourself a little bit. So put on cuticle, um, put this on your cuticles. Okay, so now I've got that on. So let's say now I want to put on a highlight product. So I can put on the glitter. This is more like a bronzy shimmer stick. And I would like to put this right under my brow both sides and you see Brie says hi. Uh, you can come down the bridge of your nose, the tip of your nose, your cupid's bow and of course right here and here, right here on the top of your chin. The places you would normally put a highlighter and the reason by the way I am going to go ahead and put this on my lid as well by the way just to kind of wake up the eyelid and what I mean by that is um, it gives a little bit of a shine so it makes you look a little more I don't know, um, like you've you've highlighted in the tear duct over the lid. Okay, and then just right there, right at the end, right here. <coughs> Bree says hi again. <coughs> Bree, uh, 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 no ma'am, we're busy talking to our friends right now. I hope y'all are having a good weekend. Are we to the weekend yet? <laughs> Beth, bless her heart. Again, I'm wiping off the excess on my hands because it's not that glittery, see? It doesn't glitter. It's a little bit of a shimmer. So see, again, it's just giving you a little bit of where it's catching the light. So now I am, I have moisture on. I have a shimmer on. And now I'm going to do the color, Boomstick Color. Now this is a product you can use a couple of different ways as well. Obviously, you can use it for lipstick. Okay, 
So now I've got my lipstick on. You can also use it for not only contour, but blush. So I usually do. That's a weird way to do it, and I know that. See how I've got a stripe almost horizontal? That's because if I went straight down, it would be more like contour. If I went way up here, it would be just like blush. But because it's only one color I'm going to do for both, I'm going to kind of go horizontal, and then I'm going to blend it. Okay, I go under my nose because I have a big nose. And I go under my chin. I'm going to maybe even do a couple of stripes that way here. And when we blend, we're going to blend that down and out. And then you also can do a bit of contouring by putting some here, here, here. Okay? So I haven't used a lot of this product. And I may come back and do a little different on the cheeks. But let me show you what you can do. By ro rounding this out and then going up, you're giving yourself a contour line. Round it out. I'm not finished blending. Everybody calm down. Because you don't need a lot of this. That's the one thing I forgot. You don't need a lot of this product. So I'm again blending at the hairline. And what does blending at the hairline do? Well, it brings you in. So it's a good way to contour. I forgot you really don't need that much of this. I could have used just maybe like one from this side. Let me go ahead and go up. But you can blend it out. So let's just say I got too much on. Then just blend it out. And you can just bring it to the cheek here and down some. Now, if you wanted a real suntan look, first of all, you can come down lower. And you can come higher. You can go over the bridge of the nose like you got a little bit of sunburnt sun today. Right there. And just kind of blend it right into where you did the highlighter. Okay, be sure and blend out under the nose. And under the chin. Why do I do this? Because I'm trying to make a little bit of a shadow going back under the earlobe and down. Under the earlobe. Gotta keep from getting my earring.